So today we are going to connect an MTI uh, inertial motion unit to sensor hub. Uh, this unit has a serial to USB adapter, so we can just simply connect it to the USB port of the computer. So now we are going to the administration console of a sensor hub. And we are just going to add a new sensor to the sensor list. Select the Xsense MTI driver and click OK. That adds the new sensor to the list. And the first thing we can do is change the name. You can put anything you want here. I'm going to apply our changes. Now these settings here are for uh, the communication settings. Here they are set to a serial port which is the right one for me on Linux. So the only thing I, so I can just uh, start this, the sensor here. Now it's enabled on the left and you can see that if I refresh here I can see data coming in. That's the latest record of data measured by the sensor. Now if we want to be able to use that data from a web client like I will do in a second, we have to publish it to the SOS service. So we add a new data provider here to the SOS service. We select uh, type sensor data source. And uh, we can put a, an offering URI. It can be anything, but here I will pick a simple name. I'm going to go select the new sensor I just added, my IMU. I enable the provider and apply my changes. Now when I do that, the sensor is automatically published as a new SOS offering and if I go check out the capabilities, I can see the first two offerings were already there and I just added an offering for my IMU. You can see that's the URL, uh, the URL that we created. So now we can actually check out the data in that simple client that I made. Uh, so this is done with WebGL and it's connecting to the server via WebSocket and it will show the orientation of the IMU in real time. You can see as I rotate the actual unit that I stream over to the computer to Sensor Hub and serve the streaming as a, through the SOS service. And so it's a very simple uh, process to actually 